I look at my screen time and it's like Instagram, like 15 minutes a day, Twitter, 10 minutes a day, TikTok, three and a half hours a day. No. And I'm like, oh no, this is not gonna <laughs> Did you just meet David Dobrik? Yeah. Did you meet him? Yes. Met him on it's campus. Like, it was so cool. It was crazy. I would, I don't get starstruck because I feel like we're around like pretty famous people every day. Yeah. And then I we met him and I was literally shaking. I was like, I don't get nervous. of honestly Ooh. and today we have a special guest she is a senior a veteran on the UCLA gymnastics team <laughs> Alicia Hanna otherwise known as fish hey she, guys. fish sticks I don't know if people call you that some but. people do oh, okay. it's so cute I saw your sister wearing like a fish stick yeah. shirt I was like, this is the cutest thing Oh, I didn't ever. see that. Yeah. And it's like so detailed, every like They literally photoshopped product. my, so it's an actual like <laughs> fish sticks like brand. They're like, it's a real brand. Like the person who made it, she's super cute. She came out to Michigan last year and gave it, gave me the shirt. And they basically like photoshopped this like sailor's face out and put my face in. It's so And then she like cute. changed the writing to say fish sticks, like perfect 10. And so she made one for me and like my entire family. That's so cute. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, guys, not only is fish a senior, but she was also on the U.S. national team. Yes, mm. we're throwback. Yeah. I, hope, I don't know why I'm looking at this. I feel like I know this. <laughs> <laughs> You're the 2018 NCAA national champion and 2019 Pac-12 co-champion. Mm -hmm. Guys, she's got a lot of uh, accolades stacked in her bag. <laughs> Pocket. In the pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are pretty cool. Okay, but before we get started with you, mm -hmm. we're gonna go into the video of the day. I actually have a good one. I was gonna do a dog one because I send you those all the uh, time. We do. We <laughs> send each other dog we, videos. We truly do, but I was like, nah, let me mix it up. <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh! 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 <laughs> I just love how she moves so fast. What happened to the bird though? Like, where did the bird go? <laughs> uh, that's, mm. I've never been pooped on, but I do. One time I was on a cruise and like I didn't see the seagull like do its business. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. And I like put my hand on the railing and it was like. <laughs> No. It was gross. It was so nasty. <laughs> I've been hooked on like five times. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It's really, it's so unfortunate <laughs> every single time. And like the worst thing is that it's like been a different color. So it's like, <laughs> you got the brown one, you got the white one. <laughs> it's like this weird green color. <laughs> Mine was <laughs> green. It's <laughs> so gross. It's like, Where does it land? Well, the first time it landed on my calf. So I was at the a theme oh. park. I was at the theme park just like walking. And I looked at my calf and I'm like, who threw ice cream at me? <laughs> Funnel cakes yeah, at the yeah. theme park, so I'm like, someone threw like chuck ice cream <laughs> at me, and I looked at my dad, and my dad goes, mm, hate to break it to you, but uh, that's not ice cream. Oh, <laughs> I was like, get off, get off, get off. It's supposed to be good luck. That's what I keep burn. telling myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really good. Good. I didn't yeah. hear, I've never heard that. They say it's good luck just to make the person feel better. <laughs> if you guys have any videos, be sure to hashtag okay. honestly so we can check them out. But so far, I've been doing pretty well. <laughs> I mean, myself. Janae's videos of the day might be a little I'm better than mine. <laughs> I'll send you guys some too. Yes! yes. Oh my like gosh. Like in lieu of Felicia Hahn. I'll send you some TikToks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want me um, to start? You can start. Your question? <laughs> yeah, you can start. <laughs> This is how it goes. <laughs> That's okay. Broom banter is literally a <laughs> show. <laughs> After one thing I do get, I'm like, nice. And Deanna was like, we still have the rest of the episode. And I'm like, but like, I have to give myself a little pal in the bathroom <laughs> once in a while to keep myself motivated. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's only you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Fishy, you're a senior now. How does it feel to be a senior? And does it really go by that fast? Oh my gosh. It is mind blowing that I'm a senior. I really can't believe that I'm here. Like freshman year. Thinking about senior year, I'm like, I'm not gonna make it. Like, <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Now that it's here, it is insane. I feel like fall quarter went by so quickly, and now I'm like officially done with my major. So, really? That's yeah, so crazy. Major. Poli sci. It's poli sci. Yeah. So now I'm just taking just units just to get done and reach the 180 like unit requirement or whatever. And I I still can't believe it. 
I'm not ready to be that's done. That's kind of fun. So are you crazy. taking classes that are just fun for you and that you're yeah, interested in? So that's taking, honestly the best. I've yeah, had. so I'm taking like a film class. Um, I'm taking Com One. Oh, so like, Com One's so fun. Yeah, so the, heard like it's like a public speaking class. So I'm really excited about that, and I think that's like something that's going to be super useful. And I'm glad I'm taking it now as a senior because if I would have taken it freshman year, like everybody else, I feel like I would be super awkward and nervous. <laughs> well, I feel like also too because it now since your senior year, you can just like have fun. Exactly. And just not worry about anything besides just enjoying your last year. Yeah, I'm like a little bit nervous for life afterwards, but I'm just kind of like savoring every moment that I have now. Ah, gotta love adulting. <laughs> I tell you, girl. Sometimes I just want to be five years old again. Same. <laughs> it's like you just mentioned. <laughs> um, you're a senior and you are um, about to step into the world of adulting or figuring out what you want to do and you're like applying to stuff. We were talking about that right before. Mm -hmm. What advice would you have for someone that's going through that now that's kept you positive mm -hmm. and that's kind of worked for you so far? Because I mean, it's happening right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. I think the best piece of advice that I've been given is just to keep my options open. Mm -hmm. I have like certain things that I want to do with my life and I don't think that they're necessarily gonna happen like right away and I think that's something that I've had to accept and be okay with so I think just keeping your options open just trying a bunch of different things you don't want to be like bogged down with one certain thing for the rest of your life and I think that's something my mom has told me um, she's like I don't want you to get burned out before you have even like started your life yeah so she wants me to like try a bunch of different things have fun with like especially this first year after college because I've been <laughs> working like so hard my entire life in school gym and she wants me to just kind of like have a break and just enjoy life. So I yeah. think that's my biggest piece of advice. Love that. That's good advice though. I would say like even after college, people feel like they have to be so rushed to get a right. job. But it's like those jobs are out there forever. Yeah. <laughs> like, You're so right. You know, it's like it, you might as well try everything because then you'll figure out what you like and don't like. Do you know what you want to do after? Um, I think my, well, like my ultimate like end goal is to work for the FBI. I think oh, that's, yeah. yeah. I do remember that. Yes. <laughs> I I've that. known that. That's not news to me. <laughs> yeah, so that's like my ultimate end goal. I know it's probably not going to happen like right after college, and I don't think I want it to happen right now. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to try a bunch of different things. Oh my gosh. I think of like Criminal Minds and yeah. I feel like Blacklist so about good, <laughs> I can see, I can talk, yo. But yeah. it's like at the same time, if I find something else that I really love to do, then like I'm not opposed to going in a different direction. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel that. A lot of graduates feel that pressure because everyone asks you like, oh, what are you going to do after college? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do after college? <laughs> what do you want to do with your life? Or like even right after you graduate, what are you doing now? It's been two weeks. Like, I what know, do you want to mean? Give me a break. I am on vacation. Like, I just got back. Yeah, so I think that's very important to remember to enjoy your life. Like, I don't want to have a yeah. full-time, like, real adult job when I'm 21. Like, that's... Yeah, and you're young too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I agree. <laughs> Keep your mind open. It's, but also, it's like, oh, even though you like come from gymnastics, there's also no pressure when you're doing something else, which I, I think a lot of people like when asking, what are you doing now? They expect you to be like at the top somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we haven't even done the thing for yeah. a long time. It's like, of course, we have to start at the bottom, but people don't understand that. Yeah. But and I feel like they should because they're adults and like you weren't in my position when you were my age. Or were <laughs> like, you? Were you, you already CEO? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm confused. You already CEO, but I'm, I'm, I just thought about that because it's that, like, yeah. Hey. And I and I get it's probably they're just curious because they just right. want to know. Yeah. But like, dang. <laughs> Some high expectations. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> like similar to Janae, but in a different part. I just want to know, since you're a senior, mm -hmm. how did you keep yourself motivated throughout all the years of gymnastics? And has there ever been a time you wanted to quit? Oof. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely been a lot of moments where I'm like, why am I putting myself through this? Mm -hmm. And I think, especially like, so... Coming from elite, like I was definitely burned out from gymnastics and I had trained so much that when I came to college, I was like, okay, like I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna be a normal person. And like, it just hit me like a bus, like college hit me like a bus. Mm -hmm. And I kind of fell out of love with gymnastics my freshman year. I kind of didn't want to do it anymore. And after talking like with Ms. Val and all the coaches and stuff, they kind of helped me like rediscover my love for gymnastics and that gymnastics has a bigger purpose than just being a sport. It right. teaches you so many different things, and I didn't look at it from that aspect. I looked at it as, like, another thing that I have to do. Mm -hmm. But now it's, like, I get to do gymnastics. It's taught me so many things that I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. So I think that's kind of, like, what's kept me motivated um, throughout all the years. So, so cool to be, like... <laughs> 
I remember Fish coming in her freshman year. Uh, so I was I was trying to figure out what video to post for like the questions, and I was, like <laughs> ran back to freshman year. I was like, yeah, no fishy. Uh, I remember uh, fresh, like, yeah. freshman fishy. Like, yeah, no, same. And it's like it's funny because like when we graduated, you were still what like a junior. Yeah. So sophomore, so sophomore, sophomore. 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 Yeah. So it's like it's crazy now because like we haven't really sat down and talked to you. I well, I feel like we never really talked to you about like serious questions like this. But yeah. like, <laughs> I, was telling, I was like, "How's life? I haven't caught up with you in like a really long time." Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's so cool to hear your perspective and like over the years, like how you just look at life differently and how it's cool that you could, you know, take those things and now like inspire those people who are going through the exact same thing. Yeah. When I was a kid, I looked up to like college gymnasts. Like that's what I wanted to be, and I think that like that also motivated me as well. Like I want to be that person for like the younger generation coming up and show them like gymnastics is so much more than just a sport. Like it's something that teaches you life lessons and that you can have like a lot of fun with it. What's the biggest life lesson you've learned? Ooh, um, <laughs> I feel like it doesn't have to do with gymnastics. I mean, it kind of does because it came from his style. <laughs> but it's like once you focus on being like wanting to be respected rather than liked, and that's like when your whole life is going to change. Oh and I, man. Like, yeah. yeah. She said Ooh, it so that many can be hard too. You're like, yeah. Do I want to be liked? <laughs> she, I remember her asking me the question. She's like, would you rather be liked or respected? I'm like, liked. <laughs> I know the right answer is perspective, but like, of course, likes. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that you're honest too. That's probably one of my favorite stories. You're like, uh, Miss Val liked. Why? Who wants, oh, to, be, who wants to be respected? Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's a very powerful lesson. Yeah. And I think that's, I feel like that's a main one that sticks with a lot of people because it's like, it kind of hits you. Like, yeah. huh. Because in college, you're around a bunch of whole new people and you're figuring out yourself as an individual. Mm -hmm. And so that's a huge, that was a huge lesson for me, me, me personally learning in college and in like my whole four years. Being liked could potentially be like, you know, you're the person who's like the fun person or like you're always going out and being social and stuff. And while that's like good in some circumstances, like it's not always the best position to be in. And it's like being respected. It's like somebody is going to respect you for like the decisions you make and the positions you put yourself in. So it's like, I now know that I'd much rather be respected and be the person that people can turn to if they need someone to like rely on or somebody that's trustworthy. So I think that, yeah, I don't know how to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so she good. Said, I said. <laughs> okay, so you actually were, were you power tumbling, right? Yeah. You did that. Mm -hmm. Did you start with that first or which one did you start with? Like, take me through that background. Because yeah. you were, what age were you when you did that? I mean, yeah, so I first started out doing trampoline and tumbling, and then, oh, I, yeah, so that's okay. what I started with. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why she's so good at four. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I started out with that, and then um, I think I was, like, 11. Yeah, 11 when I stopped, and then I was kind of doing artistic and trampoline and tumbling at the same time, but I didn't really take mm. artistic very seriously, and I was really only competing in trampoline and tumbling. Mm. Um, and then once I got to, like, 11 years old, I was like, okay, like, we're going to make the switch to artistic. Okay. That's really cool. I feel no, like a yeah. lot of people who make that switch later in, like, in the age, yeah. even though 11's not that old, but it's, like, <laughs> in gymnastics, it's fairly it's, yeah. old. Like, normally when people make that switch that late, like, she a national team, guys. <laughs> that's really hard to do. <laughs> you know, the U.S. senior national team. Like, that's so cool. Is there, and did a, a lot of things you learn from tramp and tumbling? like cater to gymnastics even on yeah. like bars and beam and so I was gonna yeah. ask if like because you so you did both at the same time so it wasn't yeah. like oh, I'll have to learn beam and bars yeah. but I was like a level like four or five <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like very good <laughs> yeah I think trampoline and tumbling definitely gave me a different like type of like air awareness just because it's a lot of more flips and a lot mm. more twists and you're jumping off a trampoline and it's kind of scary so you kind of have to like know where you are in the air and I think it helped me in artistic with like floor and even on bars like just knowing where you are in the air is really helpful yeah that's so interesting to know yeah that's something i wish i got more training in is trampoline because i feel like it's so like melissa like i feel like just so yeah. like some people are just so good at tramp right and they could just do all these tricks and they have all this air awareness and there's so many drills you can do with it yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. in the four years at ucla what is an area you think or you believe you've grown the most <laughs> We hit him with the hard question. It's yeah. always one question that stumps somebody, and I think that was the one. Yeah. I think that was the one. <laughs> the thing that I've grown in the most. Oh, I don't know. I feel like just overall as a person, I've grown so much. And like, honestly, like my gymnastics abilities are probably the same as I w like they were when I came in freshman year. We just kind of like refined it. 
but I think just like my mindset as an overall person like I look at life in such a different way and I appreciate things a lot more and I try not to take things for granted when they're you know presented to me and yeah I think I've gotten a lot smarter as, well. <laughs> <laughs> as a student <laughs> ah yeah I think just like an overall like person I think I've yeah a lot. If, if you were to tell Felicia say like Felicia's like out of you if you yeah. were to tell Felicia Baby like Felicia. one thing that you're like the most proud of them for like what would yeah. you say probably overcoming everything that like happened with my dad I think that was like a big like game changer in like my collegiate like career I guess like school wise and gymnastics wise I think after that definitely like prompted the growth and prompted like being appreciative of everything and appreciative of every day and so I'd probably tell her that I'm really proud of her for coming out of that and for becoming a better person as a whole because of it so that's sweet. Yeah. That was so sweet. <laughs> no, that's so sweet. Her family's so sweet. Yeah, her family is really sweet. Like your aunt too. Oh my god, everyone. They yeah. just always give me hugs and kisses. I love her family. <laughs> I'm like, I just pretend I'm in it. They're, they're so fun, man. They're a good they're time. So they, they fun. Really are. They're going to like all the away meets too this year and all the coaches are like, yes. <laughs> Mercedes and all like Koshin and Kyle are like, yes, like your parents are coming. Okay, oh, so was. speaking of season and traveling and all that stuff, what is your goal for this season? season since it's your last year oh honestly I haven't really set too many like either like score goals or like achievement type goals it's more just like having fun with the people that I'm with and enjoying every second because you know I only have like two months left of the sport that's so God, crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so oh I, think, I don't I don't like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I think just like embracing every moment taking in like every plane ride every like late night traveling every meeting every game that we have to do um, I think just taking it in and just like trying to like take mental pictures of everything and awesome. just kind of savor all of it. When you think about having fun, do you like get nervous for your routines whenever you go out there because it's always like, this is the last practice, this is the last routine ever, like you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I feel like whenever we were seniors, we were like, it's the last first day of practice right. ever. And ever. So many people keep like saying that and I'm like, <laughs> don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. like. Definitely had many talks with my therapist. <laughs> Listen guys, this is important. You need to talk to somebody. Yeah, always. Yeah. It's always helpful to talk to people. Yeah, it's so it true. It truly is. Oh, that's another thing I learned in college. Like therapy is great. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really gotten like anxiety before like in my entire life like I'm always, always the person that's like yeah everything's great and then <laughs> as soon as senior year started I was like oh my gosh it's my last year like all this anxiety set in like what am I going to do afterwards like what if I don't do good this season like mm. you know it's and then so many different emotions yeah I feel like it all hits you it's like it's all that build up that you haven't yes. thought about that you like parked in the back yes because gymnastics is still it's so instilled in our brains that you're kind of like it's just there yeah and then yeah. all of a sudden you're like Oh my god, it's not gonna be there. Yeah, Mine weird. was the week before graduation. I was in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, I became hysterical out of nowhere. Yeah. It was like fear, anxiety, <laughs> sadness, excitement. I don't yeah. know. It, like, and it just like all came out at once. And I was just like, ah! <laughs> it was so yeah. <laughs> like the fear of the unknown. Like it was just Oh, I had a mental breakdown probably like a week before fall quarter started. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm like sitting in the so car and like <laughs> Alex is sitting next to me and I'm just driving and all of a sudden I'm like <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Are you okay? And I was like, No <laughs> I was like, Gymnastics is ending in six months, I'm gonna graduate in a year. I was like, I'm not ready. <laughs> he's, like, oh, no. he's like, it's okay. I try not to think about like senior year too much and just trying to have fun every meet, just pretend like I'm a freshman again. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right, to y'all, it is time to answer your questions, whether you submitted them over Twitter, Instagram, but Instagram still seems to be the favorite yep. right now. <laughs> oh, also, if you have a video question, we want to see your beautiful faces, take a nice selfie video, and send it to thehonestlyshow at gmail.com. I'll do this one first. This is from Kaylee underscore Rich 22. Do you like doing brew and banter? I love doing brew and banter. I think it's so fun, and it's kind of fun to, like, sit down and chat with, like, a teammate and just, like, ask, like, random questions. I don't know if Deanna likes doing it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just because, like, I like to mess up a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, so it, it, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
<laughs> but I think it's super fun and I really like doing it and I'm glad I got to do it again this year. Deanna and I were talking, we were like, do we want to do a broom banter again this year? Like, it's a different mm. era type thing. Like, are we going to switch it right. up? You're do something right. different? But I'm pretty sure the fans would be pretty upset if we didn't do broom banter mm. anymore. It's like, obviously, like a fan favorite. Like, people love it. So, we just yes. wanted to give the people what they wanted. Cater <laughs> the to people the people what they wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Karina underscore KO923 asks, what was your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> In life? Let's do gymnastics. How about in, in gymnastics? Oh, like, I would say I have a good life one, but... Oh. Okay, we'll do, okay, we'll do life one. then. Okay. You can do both, I'm life and gymnastics. <laughs> Alright. Um, so life one. It was like super rainy in LA one day. I think it was like last year sometime. And LA does not do the rain. Like, we're not built for the rain. I'm from LA. Not good with it. Anyways, um, <laughs> we were on Bruin Walk, like going from treatment in Acosta to Wooden. And I was like low-key almost going to be late. So I'm like trying to like speed walk through the rain, but also like not trying to run because I don't want to be like dangerous and fall. <laughs> I ended up falling anyway. And I like slipped and fell completely on my back and like my butt. And I'm like laying on Bruin Walk and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm all wet now. Like, oh, that kind of hurt. And like some girl comes over. She's like, are you okay? And Mercedes and Kyler are just laughing over there. <laughs> no one wanted to help me because this nice girl on Bruin Walk. So, yeah, that was my At least someone asked you you're okay, though, because honestly, I feel most people just look at you and keep going. <laughs> like, did you mean. at least have your backpack? Um, yes, I did, but she got all wet, too. So. Oh, dang. <laughs> I was like, she, she That's like a whole cartoon. Have, providing yeah. some cushion like, or, like, pr protection. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> um, gymnastics? Ooh, I don't know. Not like anything funny. I don't know. I'm not a funny gym. I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> like with not really embarrassing in gymnastics. It's like very serious. Yeah. <laughs> if you have something wrong. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like I have some good face plans. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, I posted a video on one of my face plans. You can go check that out. <laughs> my TikTok is at fish underscore hano. So you can go check that out. It's, like video. it's from like freshman year when I was doing Uchenko doubles still, and I completely oh, just like I remember <laughs> that. I just completely just like landed. Landed right on my stomach, like there was so there was I have no rotation. Mm -hmm. There have been definitely like, a few occasions where I did that, so I feel like that's pretty embarrassing slash funny. Okay, next question. Underscore Sammy dot Lee underscore Lee. That's crazy. Obviously, we're related. <laughs> I, hey, you said it on me. I, I wasn't even gonna go there. Uh -huh. I truly, I truly wouldn't. <laughs> um, do you think it is important to take a break from gym? I like, think so. Yeah. yeah, I think it definitely like could help some people. I never got the luxury to take a break, like, you know, in club or anything. But like even going on vacation, I feel is like a really nice break or taking like three days off from the gym. I think it's super yeah. essential just to like reset and just get mo like re-motivated to get back into mm -hmm. the gym. Because I know when I take like a three day break or like a mini vacation, I'm like, okay, like, I wanna get back into the gym, like I'm ready. <laughs> Which I think it's rejuvenated. That's yeah. so true. So yeah. I think it's good to just have like some relaxation time, like have some downtime, recover your body, and then yeah, get re motivated to get back in there. Yes. When did people first calling you fish and when did fish stick start? Ooh, so the nickname. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry, that was underscore Mia Rose. <laughs> <laughs> row, row, Mia Rose, my best. <laughs> So, Fish started from my dad. He's always called me Fish. Like, he really likes to go fishing. And then just kind of stuck. I, I never didn't knew know that. Either. Yeah. I thought it was just because Felicia was similar to Fish. Yeah. Huh? I mean, it is kind of. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> like, please explain Felicia to Fish. <laughs> fish. Fish. Yeah. Just Something like that. She said, yeah. He started calling me that, like, from a very young age. And then she just kind of stuck with me. And I kind of like it better, honestly. It's like short and sweet. It's so cute. Yeah. And they like her parents come in some nice little fish hats. Yeah. <laughs> Those are so cute. Yeah. As I said before, her family is great. Yeah. <laughs> I, if you have a chance to meet them at any of the meets, please do. Yeah, <laughs> go say you won't regret it. No. You're go up just... to them. My mom will probably love it. Um. <laughs> yeah. She loves when people are like, I love your daughter. Like you guys are fun too. And they're like. Ah. I would be that parent. Oh, me too. I hope Same. so. Listen, I'm going to I want to be the embarrassing parent. I'm going to be the embarrassing one that, like, sometimes does too much, but, like, no one to stop. But, like, yeah, you're going to know. You're and, like, gonna when know I was young, I would be like, mom, like, mom, dad, like, stop. But then now I'm like, yeah! Like, <laughs> those are my parents! <laughs> Okay, so since UCLA is known for a lot of their Leos, Hannah Ford 2021 asks, favorite UCLA team Leo? Ooh, 
have a lot. And you guys have like a new designer. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sylvia P, she's great. Makes literally our visions like come to life. That's cool. Um, well, I feel like my favorite Leo so far, it's not a team Leo, it's the Leo we wore for uh, Meet the Bruins this past year. Like, yeah. 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 Yes. like loved that. I really like the one with the fishnets, even though like, I don't know if a lot of people like that one. I feel like I like it because it's like, like the it's light blue one. I think I remember you in freshman year, you're like, the fishnet. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Honestly, my favorite one's the lace. I've always liked the lace. One. Yeah, that one is beautiful too. Yeah, because it just looks so good. Which I really one? liked the ombre one too, but like I like the ombre were, one. Because it's just because like, it's a lighter color and like it didn't. You know, it wasn't very flattering. <laughs> but I thought it was. But it was really pretty. <laughs> it was very pretty. <laughs> I think it's just because of the material too. It was like a matte material. I feel like it was yeah, shiny, shiny. Maybe you're right. It would, like look glowy, but it's just because it's matte. You're like, <laughs> matte ombre. <laughs> so it could have been like. Ooh, some you know what? I completely forgot about these leaves. The ones we wore for nationals last year. Mm. The like, yes. the sweetheart. It's yes. yes. so pretty. The, the Sylvia P ones. That one's so pretty. And I like the the geometric one we won or we wore for day one too. I don't yes. know if you guys remember. I do remember. Yeah. Which one? It's like geometric. It was like blue and white, and it had a ton of sparkles here. Mm. Yeah, I really like those too. We got some pretty Leos. Yeah, man. we do. <laughs> All right, everyone. You know what time it is. It's, it's game, game time. time. Guess what game we're playing. We're going to play Would You Rather, and we're gonna ask questions basically around anything. So oh. we want to know, Fishy, what would you rather? Okay. Would you rather do a floor routine or a bar routine? Floor routine. Would you rather fall three times or fart really loud in your routine? Probably <laughs> <laughs> um, fart it's really loud. <laughs> No one likes to fall three times. <laughs> Would you rather wear a leotard backwards or five times, five sizes too large? <laughs> <laughs> if we're wearing a low back leotard, I don't know how it's gonna work. <laughs> um, probably backwards. <laughs> Would you rather lick a teammate's foot after practice or lick someone's grip? Lick someone's grip. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not a Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grip is nasty though. People spit on it. Nah, that's better than a foot. Yeah, <laughs> you know where people have been walking. <laughs> in the gym, the gym's gross. <laughs> Would you rather get a bean bite or a rip? Ooh, a rip. Yeah, bean bite. Really? Yeah. Bean bite. Really? Bean bites hurt. But the rip will last like in the shower. Like I feel like bean bite, you get just like a bruise. Uh, and you do remember Sonia's? Okay, hers was really <laughs> bad. Nah, hers was like really, really, really bad. Nice contusion. <laughs> you might start never fun. Never a good time. I don't like any of them. <laughs> Would you rather wear a leotard for 24 hours or have your parents choreograph your floor routine? <laughs> Honestly, your parents. Yeah, your parents are fun though. I think <laughs> my parents choreograph my floor routine. <laughs> I feel like you'd have a lot of these in it. <laughs> My dad's got a lot of moves in the 80s, so you know. <laughs> oh, I'll throw some of those in there. Cute. If only I had an extra year, I, I would have. I think people would have loved to see that. That would have yeah. been fun. I would have loved to see that. <laughs> would you rather train by yourself or with a bunch of little kids? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> 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 I'd probably train with a bunch of little kids. I feel like that'd be fun. Oh, that's, that's the first, that's the first one. time the first everyone one. said they really? train by themselves. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't like training by myself, yeah. So. And I would probably do the kids too. Yeah, same. So I was like, what? You I know. Like train by yourself, so thank you. I can relate to you. I don't know why I wrote this one. Eat snake eyeballs or chicken feet? <laughs> ew. I'd probably do the chicken feet. I feel like I might do the chicken feet. Eyeballs, ew. <laughs> Anything eyeballs. They'd probably like pop in your mouth. Oh, stop. <laughs> you like know the question. Boba. <laughs> disgusting. Okay, well, you said it that way. Yeah, but that'd be like sweet. <laughs> and that'd be like eyeball juice. Like, ew. <laughs> okay, um, would you rather do a cartwheel on the beam or a Ford roll? <laughs> A cartwheel. Yeah. <laughs> Ford rolls are so scary on yeah, me. No, no, Ford no. rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather bathe in chalk for a week or eat chalk for the, like the whole day? Oh. <laughs> Can I eat other food with the chalk or just straight chalk? Just straight chalk. Dang. Probably just eat straight chalk. <laughs> I'm a very dry person. <laughs> Um, I, don't think, ashy, I, mean. I don't think that would turn out very well. And technically, you can, like chalk is edible. Like it's basically just tum. Isn't it magnesium? Yeah. It's basically it's, tum. It's like, <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah. You're right, it's actually. Like, what's it called? Magnesium carbonate or whatever? Yeah. So like, oh my tums, gosh. Tums is basically fr flavored chalk. Wait, every like, time I had a stomach ache, I should have just eaten the chalk. Yeah. That's what one of my coaches used to do. He would just give us like a little piece of chalk and be like, all right, here, if you have some cake. Really? Yeah. 
bad. It doesn't, so it doesn't taste good, but I mean, you won't get a stomach ache. <laughs> That's interesting. Mouth them might be a little dry, but yeah. Do you like? But you prefer that over like your skin being dry. Yes. 100%. I would, I would yeah. do that too. Would you rather trip during a floor routine or forget your floor choreography? Um, trip. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, why? I for sure have tripped before. <laughs> you just gotta cover it up really well because I feel like. When you forget your choreography, you go in this state of like panic. That's okay, like, fair oh enough. God, oh my god, oh my god. And then if you trip, like you still know where you are, you just kind of like mess up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Two left handed grips or no grips? <gasps> <laughs> Makes me nervous too. Two left handed grips. Yeah, I couldn't even hold on to the bar if I didn't have grips on. <laughs> Yeah, same. That's so true. I feel like I would like slip off I so really, fast. Oh my, just thinking about doing like a toe hack or something like literally makes my hands sweat. Oh, oh my yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Goodness. We're gonna plan me. Would you rather have no water at practice or drink from the spray bottle? Drink from the spray bottle. I get to, I drink so much water during practice. Like I get so thirsty. Yeah. And then during meets, like I have to remind myself to keep drinking water, or else I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Mm. <laughs> right, I feel you. So yeah. You said a spray bottle. Spray desperate bottle. times come for desperate measures. Desperate. What does it say? Yeah, you had it right. Desperate, desperate, times, desperate times, times call for desperate measures. Call. That's the word I was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Fiji! Thanks for playing. Would you rather? Alrighty guys, okay, since Felicia is here, we couldn't just play one game, we're going to play two. I don't know why I'm talking in an accent. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't tell if you were doing an accent. I was like, I'm just <laughs> doing an accent. That, speak. <laughs> we're gonna bring in our special guest that comes in from time to time, you know. Guys! What's good? It's Ollie Showtime. Oh wow, <laughs> I can see the thing! That's crazy. How's it going? It's only showtime. I did the slide correctly this time, which never happens. <laughs> We're gonna be playing, honestly, What's That Story? I love when Ollie comes because we think, oh bye! And uh, oh, it's just gonna be me and Fish. Ah! Yes, gooch. Ah, what's good? How are you? I'm well. How's your day been? Pretty good. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Now get ready for actual fun games because I know their game is like super cute, but I know this one's gonna be, you know, yeah. enjoyable. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna be playing. Honestly, tell us that story. Basically, I'm gonna go through the deep cuts of your Instagram, ah. and you're just gonna <laughs> tell me a funny story that okay. has to do with them. Yeah. So let's see. The thing with like cool gymnast people is they have like 4,000 pictures and I I really have to do some digging. There's a lot on my Instagram. Oh, we got, we've oh, got quite so a bit. Okay, well tell us a story behind this picture. That picture, oh, okay, that was my first, inst I don't think it was my first one, um, I just archived a bunch of them, <laughs> but this is one of the <laughs> first pictures that I uh -huh. posted on Instagram, and I think it was like my neighbor's dog like got out and we were just petting her and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, so I take a picture. That's a really precious dog. What's what's her, his name? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What is the story behind this picture? So this was when I still did trampoline and tumbling, um, I think it was from like, 2009, I was, I don't even know how old I was, like 11 maybe. So yeah, just a little throwback, I guess, back in the day. And I know it's only because I don't do trampoline <laughs> or tumbling, but it looks as if you bounced on your head and then lifted <laughs> from, I just, I just want to point out. Yeah. It definitely could be that. How did you get into the, this position? I'm sure everyone else knows but me, <laughs> but what, what exactly are you doing? That, that is, you? I think it's a double pike, like backwards. Um, so you go backwards twice in Yes, the air? yeah, you flip twice and then you land. So I came off a trampoline, two flips backwards in a pike position and then hit the ground. On your feet? I think so. What? <laughs> What about this picture? This picture, picture me and my dad. I think this was my senior year in high school. Um, I posted it for Father's Day, but I think this picture was taken um, on the day of my confirmation. So I don't know if you guys know what confirmation is. And like the Catholic Church, it's like one of like the holy sacraments. Um, so yeah, that was on the day of my confirmation. The caption says, Happy Father's Day to my USC loving. What's what's that about? Um, he loves USC, big SC fan, grew up loving the school. Still loves it, but loves UCLA a little bit more now. That's <laughs> crazy. You know what's always really fun? I'm gonna look through her tagged pictures because this is where you find the good, good stuff. 
Ah, I don't know what people vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, see, she has so many tag pictures. <laughs> oh. wait, no, 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 this is it. <laughs> yeah. This is great. It's a good one. So wait, do you know him? No, but he does tag all of us in a lot of pictures. That's even if we're not in it. Yeah. Oh, he he's tagged every single one of you. Yeah, he tags like the whole team. I pangs tagged in it too. Yeah, that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I am his biggest fan now. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's I, a, a very big supporter. That's tight. And so he's never like been to a game or anything? No, I think, I'm pretty sure he lives in like the Philippines. No. Yeah. You guys should fly him out. I think that'd be pretty dope, to be honest. I wouldn't if I had the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has he been to a game? Did I say game? Meat. Meat. And then has he been to a, to a meat? <laughs> that reminds me of this one time. Janae was like, all right, meet at three. And I was like, oh, okay, great. I will meet you at three. Right. And no, wrong she was like, no, the meet, the gymnastics meet, <laughs> is at three. Just to give a little more context. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I say meet at three. He goes, huh? Because <laughs> I texted him like the day before and he's like, where are we meeting? I didn't know we were meeting. Meeting at 3, 3 a.m. It's already 8 p.m. What do you think? <laughs> like, I, I was like, no, Ollie. The gymnastics meet, yeah. So he knows no turn. I know, I know now. I am better now because, you know, I've been exposed to the beautiful, wonderful world of gymnastics. And You're welcome. It's honestly, it's pretty tight. Like, y'all be doing some flips? That's crazy. Y'all be like going in the air, rotating thrice and landing? <laughs> That's wild. I'm gonna say it right now. That's that's some wild stuff. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. All right. What is the story behind this? So this was after um, our meet against Oklahoma my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. And I got a 10 at me. It was my first perfect 10, so it was pretty exciting. Pang also got a 10 at that meet. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That, well, what was your event? Oh, uh, I got it on floor. Wow, yeah. that's really exciting. That was a fun one. I get, I again, I don't know gymnastics that well, and so you're gonna need to like hold my hand through this. Uh -huh. What do you think contributed to like the perfect ten? Well, that meet was like a very not intense meet, but it was a very close meet between Oklahoma and us. But yeah, I knew it was gonna be close, and I knew like I needed to hit a good routine for the team, and I just really had fun out there. It was a really good atmosphere in Poly that day. So I'm actually really interested because when you're like, all right, this is like super. Super, super important. Mm -hmm. This is a really important tumbling pass. Yeah. Does that, do you tumble better? I mean, when you're out there competing, it kind of just like goes away. Mm -hmm. Like in the, like right before you go, you're like, all right, like a little bit nervous, but it's like the good kind of nervous. Mm -hmm. And then when you're out there, it's just like, it's all gone. Wow. Yeah. So you're telling me that when you're in the air flipping thrice, yes. you're just like naughty. You're like, yeah, this is like cool for me. This yeah, you're like, yeah, this is fun. Oh, you Flipping. heard it here first. <laughs> Actually, no, I think one more picture. Oh. Um, What's the story behind this picture? That one's a really cute one. That was our photo day, mm -hmm. my sophomore year. And we were just like, I mean, not even three amigos, four amigos. And yeah, we took a picture all together just because, like, that was our group, our little friend group. We're still all really close to this day. I'm roommates with. Kyla and Mercedes, so. Aww. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> like, what prompted this picture? You guys just like. I know, we were like, let's just like dogpile Kyla. Because <laughs> poor Kyla's <laughs> on the bottom when we're all laying completely down. I remember her being like, hurry up, take the picture. I can't breathe. I mean, it's nice though, because she has like this really, really nice smile yeah, going, but you can't see the pain behind her eyes. <laughs> just the. Right, everyone's just like super happy. <laughs> Although she's living with you, so I guess she doesn't hate you that much. Yeah. All right. That was the last question. Question. I think unfortunately we're gonna be inviting Janae and Pank back to their show. Unfortunately! <laughs> the disrespect. I just the really audacity. feel like they're just, like, giving us a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin is moisturized. Oh, well, yes, because I lotioned! I lotioned my skin because you know I'm all about looking Young and good. I don't know. Yeah, yeah Listen, do that more with your hair. Honestly, Maybe it might help up out. until like last year, I washed my face with like hand wash because I just. Because <laughs> I was like, soap is soap. I don't know. Literally, oh, whatever. Let's. I feel like the world has found out too much about me. We can move on. No, it's great. They're going to find out so much about you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. This was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> this has been The Honestly Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to do that again.
Make sure to like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below, and have a good one. Notification bell. Notification bell. You know what, you just ended. No, no, okay, 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 okay. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and put the notification bell on. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Do you want to intro? Do you want to intro? Okay, so. <laughs> I mean, they can just keep talking. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to turn some heads. <laughs> In the club. Because <laughs> they'd be like, oh, my God, we're a banter. I just wanted to make sure I didn't make that route just oh, now. Okay. okay. <laughs> just going along with the combo, like, that's not what I've heard, but I'm trying to do thing that's like, Kept you. Kept <laughs> <laughs> you. What the fuck got in there? <laughs> okay. That should I said like start the whole thing. You might as well just start again. <laughs> Cause I'm. Oh, I'm a lip gloss. We turned on that. We did like more like advice, <laughs> but not like personal. Wait, where was I? I knew what I was gonna say, and then I'm like, nah. okay. Um, we can, do, we can do two with her too. Ah. So I'm being set. My segment's being set. <laughs> you know, can we play? I quit. We just decided to drop things. I'm so sorry. We apologize. Back to Ollie's showtime. Jeez. Reading it. You know what time it is. It's just this going down. The things we deal with on this set. I, I think we should. Can't. <laughs> Girl, you got that yummy yum. Yeah. Yummy yeah. Da 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 da